Why don't you give me a sign? Like the sea that leaves a trail along that shore It's not your problem, it's mine Everybody thinks that I'm okay Sometimes I think I am too I'm on the outside looking in I'm waiting for the shockwaves to begin Oh, won't you let me hold you for one time Just a rainy day In a London cafe A London cafe I think I had the weirdest dream. It was like voices really freaking me out. And I can't. Wait. I can't sleep. Well, I'm here waiting at the airport. My flight's about to leave. Hello, I'm Sophia Jessica, and welcome to the fan carpet. Can you talk about any of the challenges that you had while making the Death of April? Um, that's a tough one. Let me see the challenges. I mean, this it just evolving the script evolved a bit more because originally when it first was conceived it was strictly all you know web blog based kind of deal and then i moved away from that and then i incorporated more of the true crimes aspect where we interviewed her family members like a documentary mm -hmm. and then what was funny a few years later then a film unfriended came out which did the same thing, which was all like webcam based, where people are just talking to you. And that's mm -hmm. what Death of April was originally. The whole entire, if I was to pull out the script and you were reading, be like, oh, okay. It was just going to be like us right now talking on the computer. And you, we were going to grab all this footage and edit it together. But then my producers were, that's kind of boring. Nobody's going to want to watch a movie of people on a computer talking to each other. Oh, and then there was another film, The Host. It mm. came out during COVID. It was the same way. And I was like, not that I kicked myself, but I liked how the film came out. But I mean, we had that idea. Ooh, that was like seven years ago, something like that. We, we've been talking about Death of April for a long time. So I was like, we could shoot it this way. And everybody was like, I don't think that would work. But now, you know, I, I mean, we had to change it. And it was kind of like, that process to me, it's the same thing we talked about before, like having it be your baby. The script at the time was my baby and having to change it more into what it currently is was a little bit difficult. But I, being I like the whole true crimes, you know, films and stuff like that, I kind of incorporated that into it. But pretty much that was it, just changing it from what it was originally into what it is now. That was pretty much a more difficult thing. Awesome. Uh, and uh, and COVID, was that a challenge for you guys? Or did you kind of, like, were you one of the lucky ones and, and started production after COVID or, like, before COVID was even a thing? Um, we were pretty lucky. I mean, this was before COVID kind of hit everything. So we weren't really affected by this at all. I mean, and plus, it was like the way we were shooting, if you were the Beyonce, it was kind of like we were already on COVID lockdown. Mm -hmm. It was just pretty much one person, and everybody else was kind of, we had a small crew, so we had a gaffer, a sound guy, um, the producer, myself, and we would bring new people in whenever it was needed, but our crew was pretty much like three, and then whoever we needed to interview. So it was kind of like we were far from each other. So it was like we had, we were, pre-COVID, shooting like COVID kind of deal. Thank you for watching The Fan Carpet. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more content next time. I've been fading away. I don't know what she wants from me because I'm not a paranormal expert. I can't help her. I didn't move here to become obsessed with a ghost. I don't know what's happening to me. She was possessed. I'm not afraid of her. Honestly, I really don't know what I saw.
on the largest of the Balearic Islands, Mallorca. With the turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful mountainous landscape, the thriving city of Palma, quaint little market towns, a growing number of luxury hotels, it's no surprise that the likes of Audrey Hepburn and Elizabeth Taylor like to holiday here. So come and join me as I take you round Mallorca. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.